What's up YouTube? Nice for days here. It's been a little while since I've made a video. Uh, now that the holidays are over, I have a little bit more free time. So I just wanted to show a lot of the, uh, the very cool stuff that I've gotten over the past couple months. Or just stuff that I haven't shown on the channel yet. Um, so yeah, now we will dive right into it. Um, on the left here, I have shown this in my previous video, uh, but not really in detail or anything. And these aren't going to be mini reviews or anything. If you want to see anything in this video in more detail, just leave a comment and I'll gladly put that up for you. So this is the CRKT GSD or Get Shit Done, designed by Leon Ma. Uh, very good design um, and uh, you know pretty well executed by a CRKT. Um, it's a stainless steel frame on this one, so it is handle heavy. Um, Running on IKBS, so it's very smooth. Very smooth. Um, nice, slight stone wash there. As I said, I'm not gonna, <laughs> not going to do a mini review here, but um, a lot of people complain about the pocket clip, uh, saying you know it doesn't make it doesn't uh, touch the frame, so it doesn't retain well in the pocket. But with your thicker pants, you know jeans, you know cargo shorts, things like that, it's not going to be a problem. Uh, being the winter months, it's not a problem for me right now. We'll see how it holds up in the summer. But in my previous video, I said that there was a problem with the detent. Here's what I was talking about. As you can see here, it's very sunny right now. Um, there's a little bit of play in the detent. And I don't know if um, if they, were, they drilled the hole improperly for the detent or what the case is, but I don't want to take it apart and find out because these are loose bearings in here and I don't want them flying everywhere. But it's, a, it's not too big of a deal right now, um, you know, for the price point and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't affect the functionality of the knife. It's not going to open in your pocket or anything like that. So yeah, that's the CRKT GSD. Very, very nice design and a pretty good knife overall. Here we have, this was a Christmas gift from my girlfriend. This is the Quartermaster, um, which one is this? QSE 5X LS. It's the, basically the Roper XL, uh, but it's a collaboration with King's Arsenal. So it's a little bit different. You have carbon fiber show scale. And yet you see King's Roper on the blade there. And they, they kind of have this Cryptek pattern on the um, on the titanium and the pocket clip there lock bar insert with the built-in over travel this knife is incredibly smooth you can see how it almost guillotined my finger there it's just it's just ridiculous uh, when I first got it I thought that the pivot was loose but no it's just very smooth running on bearings of course Definitely liking this one so far. Nice draw point blade, subtle stone wash. Um, I believe this was a, originally a collaboration with Warren Thomas. I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding that, so I'm not going to get into it, but for all intents and purposes, we will say that this is a Warren Thomas design. Really, really like that knife actually so far. Uh, in this one, in a previous video, I know I said that I regretted uh, missing out on the. Um, QTR-10, the General Lee, uh, designed, oh well, um, it was a collaboration between Quartermaster and uh, g and Hawk, Grant and Gavin Hawk. So when I saw this one pop up on Quartermaster's Instagram and on their website, I, I just, I jumped right on it. It was definitely an impulse buy, but I'm glad I did. You see Quartermaster there, made in the USA, very thick on this one because of the layers that it has to have, because of uh, how the mechanism works. Kind of looks like the same kind of uh, you know principle as that Decepticon uh, knife with the layers and the heavy skeletonization. Kind of makes it look like there's more going on than there is, even though there's certainly a lot going on with this knife. So I'll show you in slow mo first. As it opens, you see how that works. That toggle, it's the same external toggle system or mechanism that they used in the Kershaw ET. Very cool. It's very very fun to play with. Can see how that moves there but you can use it as a flipper works just the same 
And actually, when it's in the open position, and this is uh, and this is locked into place here, it's actually very solid. I don't know if you would consider this a locking blade, but but yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't hesitate to use this hard if you so choose. You can see that this is a first first production run of a hundred. This one happens to be number eighty two. So very very cool knife here. Um, very mechanical, unique piece of cutlery here. I like that one a lot. And this one I'm very excited about. I received this uh, yesterday. This is my first knife from uh, William Moon. Had the Will Moon Mark 8 here. You see the sun glistening off that kind of flame titanium there. Of course, completely randomized. I believe he does it with uh, using heat. So you have the Steve Kelly pivot here, very nice. A G10 pocket clip, Will Moon swears by these, um, saying that they're just as strong, you know, in, it, in their function as a, you know, a titanium clip would be. And uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I flipped it to my pocket a couple times. Uh, it works just fine. We'll see how it holds up, but it definitely looks good. Nicely centered. You have that taper that Will Moon's famous for. It's kind of thicker at the top here, and then gets thinner and thinner and thinner, right at the butt of the handle there. See the backspacer. And great action on there, of course. Just beautiful. See the Tonto harpoon blade there. Slightest curve to that sub tip. Very beautiful blade overall. Definitely excited about this one. Can't wait to start carrying it. Just gorgeous. Definitely do a definitely do a follow up video after I get some uh, carry time with it. That's the Will Moon Mark Eight. Beautiful knife. Okay, in the right corner here you see some uh, kind of EDC hanks. You know, on Instagram you see uh, a bunch of people do pocket dumps and things like that, um, and they'll always include. You'll see one of these at the at, on their palm, but um. And I was never really, you know, a big fan of, you know, carrying a hank. Like, I think of a handkerchief, I think of, you know, an old guy blowing his nose. That's certainly not what these are. Um, and as I've been carrying them, you know, I've used them maybe to wipe off my phone, wipe off my glasses or sunglasses. Uh, I think I used this one to wipe off a, some dirt off a pumpkin in October. But um, I've had these two for a while. This one's a little bit newer. These two were made by Adam at Elite Hanks, very active in the knife community and on Instagram. He, he sends a sticker out with the, you know every Hank you get. Very cool, this one's Avengers themed. See the kind of Captain America shield there, Hulk down there, and your various uh, you know Marvel superheroes. And on the back you kind of have just this gray and black kind of splash pattern. Very cool. This one's nice, this one's smaller than the others, so I just put it in my pocket just like that. That's another reason I uh, I decided to carry them, because they really don't take up much space, and my back left pocket is usually, uh, you know, vacant, so, you know, why not? You know, being being fellow gear nuts, you can understand that, right? This is, uh, this one I think they call the Royal Skull or something like that. You can kind of see that skull, you know, wearing a crown there. And on the back, you kind of have this black and gray swirl pattern. Again, very cool. This one I fold one more time before I put it in my pocket. And it's nice because it kind of offsets that. Uh, well, I usually have my billet vault wallet on my right back pocket. So when I sit down, it's not too bad when I have one of these in my left pocket. Uh, this one's made by Scar Hanks, also uh, very active on Instagram. Again, Avengers themed. I'm kind of a nerd when um, when it comes to like superheroes and stuff. I haven't really, uh, you know, read the comics in a, in a while. Used to as a kid, but I do enjoy the movies that they're coming out with these days. You see, kind of a different style of artwork on the back here and on the front, but very, very cool. You got all your your favorite heroes there. 
Again, this one is a little bit bigger, so I fold it one more time before it goes in the pocket. <clears throat> okay, here's the uh, tactical keychains. What can that be? You got always comes with a sticker, and you've included a nice little tool there. That one's actually already on my keys. This son's got to make up its mind. Um, this is the tactical keychains tuck. You can see the logo there. Anodized blue on the sides and in the grooves on the back. You got a brass button here, and that slides and you, to reveal your Exacto or Hobby Blade. And then a magnet sucks it back in. So uh, he's done plenty of videos on these about you know the retention you're gonna get. Like he swung them around on a rope and this thing didn't retract. So I do feel confident carrying on my keys in my pocket. But uh, I guess that's why he has to include these, you know, these warnings and everything, just to cover his back. But definitely very, very cool. Made in the USA, so this replaced my uh, Spyderco bug on my keychain. Actually, I kind of had no choice. <laughs> my Spyderco bug was taken. Um, I, I went to a football game and they were like, "You can't come in here with this," and I was like, "Yeah, whatever, just take it. You know, 10, 15 bucks, it's no big deal." Uh, this one. Not the case. If someone takes this away from me, I'll be very upset. Well, you can't really tell that it's um, that it would be what it is. You know, it could be a USB drive, I guess, unless they look at that end. But I don't know. I guess it could just be just another you know tool. I do have a lot of junk on my keys, so I don't know. But I do enjoy it. Very cool. Definitely very cool, and definitely compact enough to carry on your keys. That's that. Um, <clears throat> okay. Over here, you see. We have a Northwoods Madison Barlow in denim micarta. If they wanted to try one of the denim micarta uh, covers on one of these knives, we got the your typical Northwoods knife ship free Main Street slip. And here's the knife. Very, very large slip joint. These are produced by GEC as opposed to Queen Cutlery. Because uh, Northwoods, I think, is a company founded by Derek Bone of Knife Ship Free. So uh, they outsource and have other companies, you know, build their knives for them. Um, Queen Cutlery produces their, you know, modern steel stuff, and for the most part, GEC will produce their 1095 stuff. And that's what um, and that's what this is. You can see how big that that is. I would consider, let's say, this knife a, uh, you know, kind of a full size EDC. And you can see that it's almost as big as the uh, Roper XL there. But very, very beautiful. Um, you got brass liners, brass pins, nickel, silver bolsters. Got the Northwoods logo there. Nice long pull. USA there. Always love that. Nice positive half stop. Nicely centered. Just a great quality, nice large uh, slip joint. Uh, I carried that yesterday and I'm going to carry it again today. So there we go. Uh, and I finally got a hold of this stuff, uh, some EDCI Aegis uh, Solutions Formula. I'm gonna start using this on my blades. Uh, people swear by this stuff, they say it's excellent. Um, I'm gonna be using it uh, mostly for my you know, slip joints and things. Um, Cause I'm really not sure if I I like a patina on a knife yet. Um, I know people love that. They think it show it adds character, and I could see I could see that point of view. Uh, but for now, I'll, I guess I'll use this maybe once a month. You know, if I don't clean off my blades after using them at the end of the day, we'll see. But definitely gonna start using that. Okay, and over here, well back here, I just bought a another knife case. For my uh, specifically for my slip joint knives, my uh, my Swiss Army knives, and my friction folders. Uh, it's a much smaller case than my main one. But you can see these uh, these clamps here. They kind of have this spring button. So when you clamp them down, if you if you push on the bottom here, it won't close. You have to push the button. Very cool clasp in my opinion. Very secure. You see this uh, kind of bolt there. That that's normally where your you know depressure valve would be on your Pelican cases or your HPRC cases. But in this one, it just seems to be a nut 
or bolt so with some sealant around it I guess to make it airtight and waterproof so uh, that's, that's no big deal uh, this one's made by condition one uh, USA company uh, this the reason why I went with this one was because I I, I bought this with a gift card uh, that I got for Christmas. So uh, the Pelican case, the equivalent Pelican case, uh, similar in size, would be a 1300, I believe, and it was like 70 bucks. This one I think was 40. So I bought it with a gift gift card. So I figured, you know, why not? Uh, you know what? I'll go I'll go more into detail in this case in a different video. I just wanted to show it off a little bit here. Um, and so you can see all the, uh, the kind of the non-locking blades that I keep in here. Very cool. Very good case. All right, so that's it for this uh, for this video, guys. If you guys want to see any of these, uh, anything I showed in this video more in detail, please let me know, and I'll gladly put that video up for you. Right after this video, I'm going to uh, I'll put up a video of that case there. So yeah, um, just relaxing today's Saturday. I have the weekend off, nice long weekend because we have Monday off. I'm just enjoying some uh, Mad Hatter here. This is a mug that I got for Christmas. Team just signed a new head coach, Ben McAdoo. Cheers to that. Oh, a little hoppy, this one. Made by uh, New Holland Brewing. But pretty good. Anyway, uh, guys, thanks for watching as always. And I, and I will see you on the next one.